Why aren't dinosaurs in the Bible? I have no idea, but they're here in my house. Honey, I'm home. Today we're reviewing Earl Sinclair and Baby Sinclair from the Dinosaurs TV show. And as adult toy collectors, what better figure to have on your shelf than one with a job, wife, and kids, and all types of responsibilities. Now besides a few McDonald's figures from the 90s, this is the first time us 90s kids have seen any figures from this dinosaur sitcom. Thanks to NECA, which have done a great job so far translating the Henson designs into figure form. I mean, just look at the TMNT movie line. All of those figures have been great so far. These figures are a Henson design as well. I'm hoping they live up to it. I'm curious if NECA has been able to keep up that quality with these figures. They also come with a ton of accessories. So how do these accessories look with other Henson figures? I'm excited to look at all that and more today on this Dynamite episode of... Oh, baby. Quick rundown of the boxes. Started with Earl Sinclair here. Got this awesome big image on the outside. I don't think this is the image of the figure. And I'll tell you why here in a second. Side of the box, you got the image of the figure. Other side of the box, you get a totally different image of the figure. The We Say So Company, I believe that's where Earl worked at. I'm not too sure. Bottom of the box, first time I'm seeing this on a NECA figure, the ABC logo. And as always, the credits of the people who worked on here. And once again, a familiar friend, Roger Fernandez. Que pasa, hermano? If anybody knows Roger, is he Latino? Let me know in the comments. Back of the box, we got several images of the figure in different poses, and you get a description of what comes inside the box and a description of the figure itself. It says, Earl Sinclair is the patriarch of the original reptilian prehistoric nuclear family, an all around good guy. And some people will say that about me. Let's set this guy to the side because he's not the mama. And take a look at one of my favorite figures, Baby Sinclair. Another awesome image, not of the figure. I'll tell you why, let's look at the side of this box where we do get an image of the figure. You can just tell from this image how it's not as good as this one. This one probably isn't the figure on the front. I could be wrong. This could just be some great photography. I don't think it matters. It still looks pretty dope. You got Baby Sinclair there holding his bottle and a pan. Other side of the box, you get another image of Baby Sinclair. And guess what? He stepped up his game. And now he got a bat. Watch out, Earl. Bottom of the box, pretty much the same as the last one, except on this one, you get instructions for how to put together the high chair. And let me tell you something, Neka. I'm a daddy. You ain't gotta tell me how to put together a high chair. I put together high chairs all day. Phew. <laughs> it's difficult. Like, have you ever put together a high chair? It's not always easy, man. Back of this box, you get some more cool images of Baby Sinclair in various poses and his accessories. Look, he got a lot of toys. I think he might be a collector too. Hey, Baby Sinclair, why don't you subscribe to my channel? He's not real, he's not gonna subscribe, but you can. We get a description of all the accessories that come inside of this figure. You can tell that this list is a lot longer than this one, so I'm kind of excited about that. Some people have said this is just a glorified accessory set. What's the matter with the accessory sets? I love accessory sets. Have you ever tried to get that first Turtle Movie accessory set? It's expensive. You also get a little bio for Baby Sinclair, which says Baby Sinclair is the youngest child of the Sinclair family and has enough attitude for the whole clan. His favorite pastime is walloping his father Earl on the head with a frying pan. I hit my daddy with a frying pan. <laughs> He's the baby. He's the domestic violence baby is what it sounds like. Let my baby try to hit me on the head with a frying pan and see what happened. Not the mom, I'm more like not today, son. All right, let's open the flap on both of these boxes and take a look. More artwork of the figure there. Some cool packaging, looks pretty awesome there. Another cool image of Baby Sinclair and this accessory set. All right, you guys, let's not dilly-dally any longer. If you're new to the channel, there's two magic words we say. Those two magic words are... Oh, baby. Whoa, we got a ton of stuff to look over today, guys. And I gotta say, my favorite part so far, at least about Baby Sinclair's packaging, was there was none of those little annoying zip ties. Baby Sinclair just had another piece of plastic holding all his accessories in. I wish NECA could figure that out with the rest of their stuff, because I really hate cutting those zip ties. There was an insert that usually comes with the NECA figures. If you guys were wondering, there it is right there. All right, and since he comes with less accessories, we'll go ahead and start with Earl Sinclair. And I gotta tell you, I already saw an issue that I have with this figure. Now, the reason I was saying the main photo on the packaging probably wasn't the figure, because an issue NECA has had with some of the figures, and I guess it's part of molding, I don't know. The eyes look kind of wonky on the figure itself, where on that front photo, it looked really good and clean. But up close and in person, this figure looks really good, actually. Nice sculpting on the head, even has these ear holes. Really great details on the grooves on the side of his head right here. 
here. He has these spikes that come down the back. Homie got the triple chain going on right there, which look, he's a dad, I get it. Sometimes when you have kids, you don't only get a child, you also get an extra chin, it happens. The sculpting on his shirt is really cool as well. You get these nice little grooves in there to make it look like a realistic t-shirt and a pretty cool plaid Kid Cudi button up that he's wearing right here. Good line work here as well. This dude has nice thick legs. He's been doing some squats, great details and line work. They did a nice job at hiding the swivel rotation right here at the knee. Back of the shirt has some cool molding on detail on there as well. They even sculpted that little crease that goes on the back of dress shirts. This is a pretty nice t-shirt. I would wear this t-shirt. I'm just saying, where you be shopping, Earl? He has some rotation on the head. A little bit of up and down, surprisingly. Wow, you actually look up that much? Down that much is not a lot, but I didn't expect any of it at all. This is where I had an issue. We have this open kind of smiling mouth. His eyes are looking to the side. That's not my issue. My issue is NECA had the opportunity to put some articulation on the mouth. They've done it before with figures like Toker or Razor. It's not the worst thing, but man, how cool would it have been to have some articulation in the mouth here to just have some extra more dynamic poses. Arms, you do have a slight articulation there in the elbow, but what sucks is it doesn't look too good when you do bend it. There's a little bit of separation there. Now, I don't know about this hand itself. It's very suggestive. He kind of has a bowling ball pose going on, but I don't see any bowling balls here, so. And the legs is really no articulation. It kind of comes up that high, comes right back into place. In the TV show, those characters didn't have a lot of movement either. You do get some articulation here on the tail. You get three swivels. The back of this goes up and down. You get this sailor mug. The detail on this face is really awesome. I actually would like to see a character just like this. You also get this sailor hat right here. Fits nicely on both heads. And you get your dad accessories. What dad doesn't love a TV remote and a six pack of lava lager? He comes with four pairs of hands. Those weird hands I already told you about. Two pointy fingers. You get an open palm hand and a hand for holding that mug. And for my friends in Hawaii, you get two shaka hands. Shaka bra. I don't know why I did that. I've been to Hawaii once. What's up y'all? Love your state. And get to every 90s kid's favorite character from the show, Baby Sinclair. We're gonna start with his accessories first because it's a ton to run down and then we'll look at the figure. He has his baseball bat with some decent detail on the wrap. Nothing to write home about. He gets his stirring spoon or as some of my parent friends call, the spanking spoon. I'm not making that up, the spanking spoon. Now you know you got some badass kids when you got a spoon for discipline. You also get this slingshot which has that same little bendy plastic kind of like the Casey Jones head wrap has which I mean it would have been cool if this was like a working thing but I guess just for posing that's cool. You also get that pan mentioned on the packaging. Not a lot of detail on it. Nice little paint job. It's a pan. What do you want? You also get this little guy who's one of those fridge creatures. Got some nice little detail on this guy for the fur. Really like that right there. Get this little gingerbread cookie, a little blue plastic bowl. You get this baby bottle as well. Not a ton of detail on this thing, but looks pretty cool as well. As a dad, I feel this is a challenge. This kid got his own remote. Mm -mm, not in my house, buddy. Nope. You get this blanket as well to put over him. Nice little pattern. Kind of reminds of those plastic tablecloths that used to be over at my grandma's house. Now, like I said, Baby Sinclair, fellow toy collector. He has not one, but four toys that come along with him. Orange hippo here. No articulation of the hippo. It's just a plastic hippo. You got some blue polka dots on the back. Kind of looks like one of those toys you get out of the little quarter machines that you twist and turn and the little bubble pops out. And then you get this guy and then you're happy about it for like five seconds and it gets stuck in between the seats in the car somewhere. I like this guy, this guy's kind of cool. A little dinosaur, a dinosaur having a dinosaur. That's a little strange. No extra paint on this guy as far as like blue dots or anything. He does have some purple eyeballs. This one actually does have some cool detail. Purple dinosaur, some gold paint, some blue. No articulation on this one either. None of his little toys have articulation on it, which as a toy collector, I bet you that bugs him too. He's probably leaving comments on somebody's review right now, or at least posting about it in a Facebook group like the dinosaur wagon or the dinosaur lair. And then post weird random photos about how he hasn't received his dinosaur van yet. Everybody else has it. He sees everything everybody else gets on there and he's like, why, 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 where'd you find that? I want it. Stop posting about it. You're, you're feeding my addiction. And then we have this little yellow dinosaur. All these little figures have a bright aesthetic. It's really cool. They're cute. I'm a girl dad, so I can call things cute now without judgment on myself. Y'all just don't, it's cute. He comes with three pairs of hands. Then we have the second head where Baby Sinclair grew a horn from eating too much sugar. A message that did not get through to me in the 90s. Obviously. 
And here we have this chair, just a brown plastic mold, not a lot of detail on this thing. It has a few little indents in there, I guess, to make it look like it's stone or rock. Same thing with the top of it here. No detail on this thing. Now let's take a look at this little cute little guy, fun little face scope. And once again, a disappointing thing, no articulation in the mouth. That would have been really cool, NECA. Come on, guys. There's not a ton of articulation on these figures, so that one little added area would have been cool because just would have added some more fun poses. I think NECA really missed the ball on that one. That opportunity to do something cool, they've done cool things like that in the past. I don't see why they didn't at this time. But you do get some articulation in the arm here. You get full rotation there. No bend in the elbow. The wrist kind of moves up and down there. You have a little swivel rotation in the upper torso here, which goes all the way around. I guess that's cool. You don't get a rock. His legs do bend down. You get a little bit of action in his ankle. I mean, it's kind of disappointing that you can't stand him up, but I guess he was sitting down the whole time. There was a few episodes where like, it looked like he was walking. I mean, the dude did a whole rap video. Before we put him in his chair, I got a question like, I got these figures off of Best Buy. And for me, being able to purchase NECA figures online on Best Buy is kind of a new thing. How are you guys liking the buying process with Best Buy? I gotta say, I'm kind of liking it. You order your figures, you're able to pre-order, and then you're able to pick them up or have them shipped. They have plenty available. Leave a comment down below if you agree with me that they're a hundred times better than Walmart. I wish Walmart would take a page from Best Buy, is all I'm saying. I don't know, you guys let me know what you think. All right, you guys, let's take a look at this guy's chair. It does just pop off by lifting it up there and then you slide it out with the grooves in the back. Put baby Sinclair's tail through that hole right there. Articulate him a little bit so he can sit down, move those legs down. I guess you're gonna, whoa, that's not good. <laughs> Poop in my pants. Ugh. All right, you gotta make sure you put baby Sinclair's arms up in order to fit him in this chair. Listen, I gotta do the same thing with my little girl. I just said her manos para arriba. And she puts them right up, it's so cute. Once again, I can say cute. You sit him in his chair right there, arms are lifted. Now there's little grooves here on the back of the chair where you'll slide this piece into. There's also peg holes here on the bottom for these pegs right here. Slide it into that groove, push down on this thing. This arm keeps popping off and it's really annoying me. Uh, so that's one of the issues when you are trying to articulate these little arms. There's not a lot of leverage everywhere to move and articulate these arms. So every time I do, this arm keeps popping off, but whatever. That's what baby Sinclair looks like in his chair. Happy little guy, ready to have some fun. And here we have both of the figures next to each other. As far as the accessories go, you can use them with the other figures. They look especially well with your turtle figures if you have those. Since these characters are based on the designs from the Henson shop, the aesthetics just go very well with all of them. Even the figures themselves look awesome. And they look like they're part of the same world, the same universe. It's just a big added bonus for your shelf. So what do you guys think? Not a lot of articulation on these guys. I guess that's to be expected. On one hand, it is cool that we finally got some figures from this dinosaur series. On the other hand, there is some room for improvements like the articulation on the mouth. Now that wouldn't make these perfect figures, but I gotta say, I'm excited to have these guys. I'm excited to have them on the shelf. What do you guys think? What figures do you wanna see from this line added onto it? Of course, you gotta do the whole family. You gotta do the grandma. But beyond that, what would you like to see? Maybe we get Earl's friend from work. Maybe we get his boss. That would have to be a huge chunky figure. There's a ton of figures from the show and it would be cool to have the whole gamut sitting on your shelf. You guys let me know in the comments what you guys think of this line. Are you in? Are you out? I'm in for it, at least for the family. We'll see where it goes from here. You guys, thank you so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe. And listen, if you haven't seen this video or this video, please watch because they don't have a ton of views, but they're really fun videos and nobody else watched them. So watch them now.